Hello everyone, Shamantin here, and today I'm showing you how, how you can get free denial of service uh, protection for your website um, using the Cloudflare's free uh, denial of service protection. Um, I personally use it for some of my sites, and I want to walk you through the easy process on how to enable this. Uh, I think that even if you're running a small blog um, or uh, any type of website, it's uh, especially it, the, especially Cloudflare providing a free service is uh, definitely a must for your um, for your layered security plan. Um, if you go uh, again to cloudflare.com, um, you you have different options. There's a paid for and uh, free version. Of course, the paid for version. Um, Sorry, I clicked on some of the features. Um, so the paid for version obviously gives you more features. Uh, one thing I will say though, is that the free version, of course, um, since it's free, you're not gonna get uh, the optimized like path and it will add a couple of seconds on your website load time. Um, so some people who are really interested in SEO and stuff like that may want to buy the product versus using the free version but if you're not too f too worried about seo load times and stuff like that um then this is for you <coughs> so how this works and uh, i'm oversimplifying it but how this works is pretty much you have your website and we've talked about in some of my previous videos dns and how that works um, so what we were doing is using uh, pointing all of our DNS traffic to Cloudflare and then Cloudflare acts, acts like a, pro a proxy for us. Uh, and what happens is that all the web requests hit the Cloudflare um, infrastructure. It gets scrubbed out and um, then gets sent to a real server. And you have other options and uh, features that that help. It's not only a, it's not a hundred percent a security product. So I'm gonna show you through the sign up process here. This is just my demo um, email box, and so I thought I I always thought that they sent you a um, a confirmation email, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Okay, so that was the actual setup. Okay, now to add a website, this is very simple on this part. So I have a domain. Um, uh, bmfmancini.tk um, by the way .tk um, and this is not an advertisement for .tk but uh, just so, so you know if you're looking for a free domain uh, I found these guys not so long ago um, and they're called uh, .tk and so if you just google .tk they're a free TLD provider I think it's some uh, I think it's uh, made free by some island or country um, if we do just dot tk yeah so um, uh, it is a sponsored by a uh, a country of some sort I forget which one if you're looking for more info you can definitely look and it's legit free uh, domain names um, so yeah, you can definitely just check them out. I use them, as you can see, just for uh, testing purposes and stuff. I mean, if you're running commerce or blog and stuff, uh, I've always chosen .ca or .com. But if you're look, if you're short on some cash or you just want something free to play around with, um, then definitely .tk can definitely help you out there. Okay, so back to the subject here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 
bmfmancini.tk for, DN, uh, for DDoS protection. So you do bmfmancini.tk. So what this will do is scan your scan DNS site. record, this will take and uh, During this, time this is a really well-designed site. I mean, even works. they even give you a step-by-step -step video on what to expect after the fact. Okay. So this will take a. They have a countdown for around 50 seconds. So I'll, in the interest of time, I'll just pause this video until it's done. Okay. So the DNS record scan is complete. So click continue here. Okay, so what it's done is gone ahead and checked and um, found the IP addressing that I have set up for this. So um, if we go to this site, I like just pointed out here. We just type in by IP here. This is just a this is just a site that I have just set up, brand new site just for demo purposes, and you see it just goes to this site. One thing I want to illustrate right now is if I were to ping this site to get the IP of it, you'll see the IP address is 192.210.138.246. Okay, just keep that in mind and I'll explain why that's important. Okay, so we're gonna verify, yeah, this is correct. Hit continue. Okay, now, uh, like I said, uh, there's the different tiers of services. Okay, so it goes from zero dollars a month right up to five thousand a month, and that's obviously your enterprise site. So the free site comes with your DDoS protection, um, comes with uh, you know uh, some other features. You can go through all the features for the majority of people running simple sites like blogs, like. Uh, recipe sites like you know basic sites free is okay um, again it does sometimes add depending on what's going on that day and I guess their congestion on their servers and stuff does add a couple seconds uh, of low times but a couple seconds of low times with for free DDoS protection or uh, getting slammed and your site completely down is kind of your choice. Even twenty dollars a month, um, if you're running, let's say a small a small website where you're selling stuff and all that, it won't always want to be up. I mean, the twenty dollars a month is not bad at all. So we're gonna hit the free version, then hit continue. Okay. So now we're already set up. Okay. All we got to do is go ahead and make some changes here. Okay. So what we got to do is edit our um, name servers so that we're pointing all of our DNS traffic to Cloudflare. Okay, so I've just logged into my .tk um, registrar. Okay, and now uh, this this is uh, dependent on who your domain registrar is. If you're a GoDaddy, if you're whoever, you just go into the DNS manager. Okay, of that particular provider. Okay. So here I'm going to hit manage the DNS. All right. So just give me a moment here while I I'll get to the to the option uh, to where I can ma manage this. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so uh, I found where I need to change it for me. So I'll just remove the name servers. Okay. 
that were there by default on uh, .tk and I'm just going to modify the name server records So name server one, Becky, and then Stan. Okay, so change our name servers. Okay, so what this will do is uh, usually take, um, it, it usually takes around half an hour to 40 minutes for the name servers to update globally so i'm just going to wait for that and then uh, continue the video once i see it's updated okay so that actually was faster than um than usual uh so now once the the name servers uh refresh you'll get um a green showing that uh, the status is active and um now you're set up with um, your setup with DDoS protection. Now, going back to earlier, remember when I said uh, take note of the IP? So this was the IP address of my server. 192.210.138.146. Okay, if you remember that. Now, you'll see that fping-a, which will resolve the IP for bmfmancini.tk, shows a different IP. So why did that happen? Well, now what's happening is, is that all of my DNS traffic is, is resolving to BMF Mancini dot, uh, sorry, BMF Mancini dot TK is, is now, um, is now being redirected through Cloudflare, who's now acting, like I said, my proxy. So all this traffic, instead of going direct to my server, hits Cloudflare and now we can do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Cloudflare even offers caching. So with caching, um, uh, with caching, you can enable caching mode with them. And then if your site happens to go down due to a, uh, you know, your servers crash or something, um, there's an actual static page that that can show up, and um, it's kind of like the Google cached uh, mode option. So once your site's been established on Google for a while, you click cached if your server's down and people can kind of see what, what it looked like last time. Um, so there's a lot of options. I'm not going to go through them all, but I encourage you to, to do that. You can add as many sites as you want. Uh, that's, that's another beauty of it too. And on top of that, um, later on, if you want to upgrade your server, uh, sorry, your service. You don't have to re-add. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just uh, sign up for whatever package you want and no more downtime. And on top of that, the way that they have uh, they do the rollover DNS is that your site will never be down when you do this. So all the traffic rolls over gracefully and um, you're not going to be down. So you can do this uh, safely. Um, throughout the day uh, another thing I like is that it gives you analytics now I mean it's not as good as Google Analytics or anything like that but again um, something cool and on top of that again remember all this is free so I hope you found this video um, informative and helpful if you have any questions or comments about Cloudflare or how to set it up please leave them in the comment section below <coughs> you can also email me shawmancini2010 at gmail.com or visit my website shawmancini.com uh, Thanks for watching.